Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Before we start, don't say nothing about what's on my head because I was very much given silly from the color purple. Very much given cut the camera off and do it next week. Okay, that's what it was given. Very much given. I know you fucking lying. So I had to just cover it up. So bear with me. It is what it is. All right, y'all know we always gotta give our shout out to that number one bitch. Hey, bitch. Your shout out to you, girl. Thank you for having my post notifications on. And when I tweeted, you was the first to say something. I just wanna say thank you for supporting me. And now it's my time to support you because I see you supporting me. Hey. Bitch. Baby girl, when I tell y'all I am already tired before I even started messing Monday because y'all girls is tired. Y'all was out here cutting all the way up. I mean cutting up till there's no more cut up. Y'all very much giving up if you bug, bitch. Very much giving get on my level house. Okay, I'm just like, girl, oh my god, the girls is acting crazy. So with that being said, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Let's get into the shit, and that is the sugar honey iced tea. Because y'all girls love standing some shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have they so cool and messy. Look, I ain't trying to be messy, but this is messy. They decided to post after seven years of dating that they are now going to get married. You stupid mother. Oh my f***ing God, dude. Now, bitch, <laughs> I'm not the one to say nothing, cause I mean, I'm not trying to be messy or nothing, but I'm just gonna keep it motherfucking real. Now, didn't royalty say she didn't believe in marriage? Hey, oh yeah. But you wanna turn around and marry this man. Then on top of that, you are Jehovah's Witness, though they say she is. I don't know, I ain't in her background like that. Ain't none of my damn business. But she's Jehovah's Witness. And you over here doing all these holidays and all this other craziness and foolishness that Jehovah's Witness don't do for this man because you want to make sure this man is happy so you put your religion up to the side for this man. Everything you've been doing has been doing for this man. This man ain't done nothing for you. Oh, but she, that ain't none of my business. I'm not trying to do this. I'm just saying, that's what the girls are saying. I'm not saying that ain't none of my business. Then on top of that, y'all got all this football team, I mean children. And y'all ain't married. I thought they was damn married, all these damn children. They done damn broke up 79,600 times. Look, 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 look. I, you know what? I'm not trying to be messy. I'm just saying. Then he go and say, I'm going to have the bachelor party of my life, bitch. You better talk to him before I do, because I'm hurt of feelings. Royalty, <laughs> good mother up, bitch. <laughs> because, baby, girl, I guess you know what? <laughs> if you like it, I mother love it. Child, this hoe is crazy if she think this man oh i'm on camera so um they decided to get married and this is what they're gonna do so good luck to them um i hope it work out for you and um cj so cool oh jesus people all right well well if it ain't about me i hope we don't find out after the bachelor party he cheated on royal tea next case that's the sugar honey ice we have Trey. Now, bitch, this is the Kiki. Miss Trey and his girlfriend wanted to go to the water park with some friends of theirs. And while they were there, they got into an altercation. Now, allegedly how the altercation started was um, there was a young lady and she was there with her friends, her cousins, matter of fact. And her cousins had allegedly wanted to take a picture with Trey. So it was like, oh my God, it's Trey, it's Trey, it's Trey. What happened to this baby? 
And um, so she, they told her that. And she was like, who is she? I don't know her. They was like, Miss Trayana, y'all know her girl? She got to woo woo woo. And I guess the Trey them heard her trying to act like she didn't know who they were. So she's saying that they put the cameras all in her face. Like, oh, bitch, you don't know us. You don't know us. And then that's when it got a little, you know, out of control. Now, after the commotion went down, the young lady then went live. Hey, y'all jumped two little bitches, 10 of you hoes, and this is what we walking away with? Come on, pussy, do better. That's when Trey came back and he said that this is one of the boys who had jumped her. Now, that guy's allegedly supposed to be that girl's cousin. As you can see, she then went in the DM with a T page and told them that's what happened. And, you know, she didn't know who Trannon was and whoop, 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 whoop. After all that had went down, whatever the case may be, the shade room then posted it up and then Miss Trayana, honey, she decided to get very catty. She be feeling herself sometimes, like her pussy don't stink. And um, she go in the comments and like saying, all y'all fat don't know me and my brothers and da 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 where we come from. And I got jumped by four, five niggas and this is the daddy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, hold on, girlfriend. Did you just body shame these girls? And so then after she body shamed and the girls thought that her happened, so he come back around and he apologized and said that he was like, I'm not body shaming, I'm just body shaming those fat ones. I'm like, hey, you know what, train this thing, right? At this point, take a nap because it gets you. Maybe you got a concussion from the fight <laughs> and you're not thinking straight because you're just saying a whole lot, a whole lot of nothing. So anyway, after she do that, then she don't stop that. Miss Thane got a PMS attitude. She be going ham. Hey, Miss Thane that came to me once before too. And I let her slide, and I'm just like, hey, maybe she, you know, she be feeling herself sometimes because she got a little coin. I'm let her, I'm let her do what she do. But um, yeah. So then she went to come in and she told the girls, y'all can shut the f up, y'all. Me and my brother is rich, and y'all just mad about it. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Did she just say, I'm rich, and y'all just, first of all, bitch, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> Hello? Do you not know where your money come from? <laughs> the people that you just thought to shut the f up and that you're rich, nigga, are you dumb or are you stupid? Oh, the girls love throwing them. They got coin, girl, forget that the coins come from everybody watching their video. Then when these girls start watching their video and don't buy no more of their songs and stuff like that, Let's see who rich. But anyway, that's what happened there. I'm glad everybody was okay. So yeah, if it ain't about me, let's kick in. Next case. Next with Shagani Ice Tea, we have Tokyo Benny versus BCJ and Boss Lady Tank. Now this is messy. As y'all know, Tokyo Benny, she was allegedly a virgin, honey. And she had met this guy. He's a rapper and woo woo. And they was together for like a good little time. And she decided she wanted want to give him her little kitty cat and stuff like that, honey. And then girl come to find out, honey, he done cheated on him. And baby, I was just like, oh, that is so messy. It's going to get you her good treasure box. And you're going to took all the jewels and ran with it. That is really something. So um, she then decided to go on live and tell the girls why she was hurt. Be single for four months. This has been one of the most roller coaster rides of my life. I'm just asking that my fans and my followers and stuff just stop tagging me and DMing me stuff that um that he's doing because it hurt. I can honestly say that like this is my first love. Um, my first of, uh, you know, it's two, um, I lost my virginity too. And honestly, it's embarrassing because everybody be laughing at you and having so much to say. As you heard, she was broken up for four months, honey, so that's why she was so hurt that he ended up posting that picture because she had to keep us up private. But then he was just like, no, f we was broken up four months. Why is you upset? Like, I respect a lot of shit, but like, I don't respect no pussy shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how long, how long we been separated? You know what I'm saying? If you felt like that, you should have told it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Then what you mad about, you only did because you, 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 you saw some shit. All right, we both know we single. You see some shit, then you test to my phone. Test some shit to my phone, and I tell you like, look, man, that shit ain't going to make me or break me, man. Like, fuck who don't fuck with me, and I love who fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't do that shit. And 
Like, I'm all man. I got mad love for shorty. I mean, like, what nigga don't fuck up? You know what I'm saying? A wet nigga ain't fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I really fuck with shorty. I really love shorty. You know what I'm saying? But like, tell it, tell it like how I told you. When we was trying to make it work, what I told you, like, man, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a bitch ass nigga from trying to save you. Like, look, I'm telling you, man, look, man, I ain't no good to you. I'm pausing. You know what I'm saying? Child, if you do the math, what I'm figuring out is, okay, y'all been broken up for four months. It takes nine months to have a baby. This girl is showing and got twins. That's why y'all broke up. She caught you cheating. That's what it was, yeah. She caught you cheating and she left you. You wrong. That's fucked up, BC, BJ, powder, whatever. And so then, child, he gonna come back and make a public apology, bitch. <laughs> For yeah. Cause you done turned them comments off in your page today by letting you have it. You thought what you did was gonna stay behind the scenes and it didn't. Girl, you're wrong. So to that girl, Miss Boss Lady J, honey, while you over there putting up all your happy thoughts with your little twins, honey, how you get them is how you lose them. Gonna be stuck with a handful. I hope you get that child for money. Anyway, that ain't none of my business. Oh, he got a new song coming out too. Y'all might wanna go check it out because they gonna need some money. Okay, well, if it ain't about me, I'm also gonna have some community D. Next case, next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Vincent and these two ugly ass niggas get on my damn nerves. Now, I'm sorry, Reginate, I love you, but your daddy is just a whole lot of, whole lot of. So, him and 50 Cent decided to talk about how exotic women are just so, ooh, breathtaking, and black women are angry black women. You see what I'm saying? And I look and I go, yo, this is why they get mad, they get angry. And you see a lot of sisters, they go, oh, you fuck, you fucking with this kind of girl or that kind of girl? That shit is exotic. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That shit look a lot different from the shit that you see in the neighborhood all the time. It looks like <laughs> that shit look like it came off a boat, baby. You don't like that, motherfucker? <laughs> you don't like that? You go, goddamn, what's the matter with you? It feels like something foreign. It feels like something that you can't just get. So in some kind of ways, it is interesting to explore. You know what I'm saying? But they get mad, they get angry. How did you end up with this motherfucker or this that? I'm like, huh? For real. <clears throat> they get real. I just upset. look at it like, oh, look at this angry. And then my instincts always makes me defensive. So I go, look at this angry black motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> trying to fuck up the whole vibe. Now, what I don't understand is, do you not know that the mother of your children are black? That your daughter is black? And y'all sat on here and Kiki and Kaggle about how these women from across seas and all other women who are just these light-skinned, exotic women that come off of the boat. And when black women speak on it and get upset, then they're angry black women. No, they're angry black women because when it's time to go march for your black ass, like the George Floyds and the Trayvon Martins and all these other black men that have lost their life, the black women is fucking there. Where them exotic bitches for you then? No offense to them women, but I'm just saying, where are them women? Where are they at? It's them black angry women who's walking in front of you, not behind you, but in front of you, on the line, step, standing up for your black ass. But she wonder why she's an angry black woman because she's over here upset because you choosing these women who always get you locked up. Who talk shit about you. Who want you for your money. Those exotic women. Lil Wayne, them dirty ass dreads, you got no offense. I mean, he cool, whatever case can be, great music, lyricists, whatever, but them dirty ass dreads, the way he looked, do you think if he had a nine to five working at Walmart that them exotic women would even look his way? <laughs> 50 Cent, like you've been shot nine times. I thought you'd be more humble than you are right now, sweetie. <laughs> Over there built up like a masculine Squidward, whatever that shit is on SpongeBob. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about it. That's going to piss me off. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, Lil Wayne and 50 Stick of Suck a D. Next case. Next for Shagunny Ice Tea, we have Kerry and M.K. Youngboy. Okay. Let me get this together. It had been reported that NBA Youngboy had a girl and they named her Kai. Now remember the song, he said if he had a daughter, he'll name her Kai. But come to find out, he said he ain't got no daughter. He only got one daughter. I got four little boys, right? Matter of fact, one of their birthday today, Draco birthday today. I got four little boys and I got one daughter. Her name is Armani, dude. I ain't got no other daughter. I, I got another daughter on the way though. 
I got one daughter that's born, man. Y'all gotta stop that weed. All this shit not cause for. We just got four babies on the way. And y'all be fucking with <laughs> me. And y'all be fucking with me. Damn. It's crazy. They really like be posting this whole. I don't even conversate with that girl. I now, when he said that the girl got pissed and the girl had posted what she said, that you got me fed up. No, this is your child. Some people are saying the baby was born prematurely. Other people are saying she had a miscarriage. So then she goes and she posted a picture of the baby. The people are saying, okay, girl, he didn't say that you didn't have a baby. He's just saying that it's not his baby. Now, I don't know. I don't see NBA young boy not claiming any kid that is not his because he would claim his children and he got money to claim his children. So that's what makes me believe that that's not his child. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The girl, somebody in the family talking about the girl lying and ain't her baby. She's saying that she didn't even talk to nobody like that. So the person who's talking about that's her family, down she don't know them. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot of girl. If she lying, that is really sick. But I hope that boy figured out. Maybe do a DNA test, get it together. But girl, this is a mess. Well, I hope the baby kind of find her daddy because the mama out here acting crazy. But all right, well, if it ain't about me, let's get key next case. Next question, honey, iced tea, we have the Ruth Gordon B and Jay Youngin. Well, child, this is all we've been waiting for. She tweeted out the other day. I said, yes. I almost said something, but I didn't want to. Stupid. Stupid, stupid ass! I can't, I don't call it that stuff. Stupid! Nigga done did all this stuff to you. You ain't on the internet acting crazy, crying and shit. Then all of a sudden, stupid! Went to jail and the baby. Stupid! I said yes. Yeah, yes to being stupid! I'm not even the one getting married and I'm mad. Like, I done been the one cheated on this shit. I would have been like, when the nigga said, will you marry me? I'm like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up off that goddamn ground looking stupid, she should have said, I say yes to denying your ring, fool. Are you dumb? Oh my God, you know what? It ain't none of your big stuff, so, so relax. It's none of your, I guess these, I guess I done got so caught up in what's been going on because I been doing Messy Monday and I'm just like, stupid! Oh, I wish I didn't do this show because it's just, oh, I just be getting so mad at these people. Ain't none of my business. Okay, good luck. They're going to be divorced before they even get married in three weeks. Just maybe two months. Watch. It's off. I don't want to be with it. Watch my face. Every time I say something happen, something going to happen. Watch. Okay, good luck. <laughs> we hope it works. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, we have Diamond Flawless versus Pink Seed. Now, Diamond, baby, I was, I was rooting for you, okay? I, I, I was rooting for you. I was there. I was like, oh, she gonna get through this. Well, bitch, if you did not prove me wrong. Yeah, my house, man. <laughs> Get, look, look, well, I, look, y'all, y'all need to see this for y'all son, because y'all be thinking I'm lying. Just go, get from around here. Look, look, now she leaving. Now she leaving. Now she leaving. Now she scared. Now you scared. Get from around me, please, please, please. You, you. Denzel, come here. Denzel yeah, needs to see, because Denzel wants to have a girlfriend and wants to have sex all day. Look at this, Denzel. Welcome. Go on Instagram Live. She tripping. Hey, look, y'all. Get us up, get us up. Now, while she was there acting crazy, King said girlfriend was like, she wanted to put her hands on the girl because she was like, you know what? They ain't no disrespect to us. You can't touch me, Denzel. I need to know. Who can't look, touch she, you? Look, she, you on my, yo, I could touch you. No, I can <laughs> touch her. My girl could touch you. That's why like, I ain't worried. Get, get, get from out here, for real. Come on, baby. look, look. I, I, I would let you do your, but yes. you're too pretty so for that. Right? I know I look you good. Get, well, tell me, you you good. At this point, I don't know what's going on with Diamond. So then, while she out there acting crazy, now they go and they start putting barbecue sauce all over the girl car by her little brother in there. I'm like, not my little brother out there. Y'all, stop it. On the wrong side of the hood, bro. She got barbecue sauce on her car, bro. Oh! 
Hey, Bree, go get another one. Go get another bottle. Fuck it. She's not leaving. Fuck it. Hey, fuck it. The nasty car. Nasty car. Who? So then while they are putting barbecue sauce all on her car, she goes and she tells that she fucked smooth Gio. Hey, she said she fucked Gio. You heard that? She said she fucked Gio. She said she fucked Gio. Gio, Gio. Hey, look, Gio, you fucked her. You know that's my ex. Look, y'all. Gio, what the f? She said she fucked Gio. Ah! She said she fucked. Yo, Gio, you seat up. Gio, you seat up. You see? And it's like, oh my god. So that prank from a long time. It's real. All right, guys. Look, y'all. So, like I said, we did the. I know we kind of went too far, but look, we did not tell him it's a prank. Should we tell him? No, we shouldn't tell him. Just wait. We will tell him eventually. Just not now. He's so mad. He's so mad. The man is losing it right now. I ain't gonna, I'm sorry, Sid. Look, I know you're gonna be watching this, but shit. At least it's not real. Yeah. We, come on. Well, you know, I would never do something like yeah, that. Come on. It's a prank, but still, I feel bad. Yeah. It's okay. You'll find out soon. <laughs> uh, that was too intense, though. He's so mad. So, you think, like, he gonna break he's up? Not, yeah, break he's up not with gonna you? talk to me ever again. That's how Jason is. He did not gonna talk to me. He's and she didn't stop there. She hopped on top of the car and told them, hey, if y'all wanna see how crazy I am, get in the middle of the road and I'ma hit you. You a cop, demon! You a cop, demon! Oh, I... <laughs> At this point, somebody get this girl a straight jacket, white jacket, something. Give us something, a padded room, something, because this is going too far. At first, I was all for it. I was like, okay, this is shits and giggles. She playing around, they playing around. No, it's, 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 this is real. So then after that, Smooth Geo had caught word of what she said. Hmm? Come on, really? Really? Now, I ain't gonna lie, let me just say this. I'm, I'm not even gonna drag the situation. I did not Diamond. Diamond, you want, you, you want to game it. Yes, you want to So at this point, somebody please get this girl a straight jacket and a padded room because she's losing it. I thought it was a joke at first, but no, this is real. This is her. Mama is really like, I, I don't want to know. I don't know if she's hurt. I don't know if she's on drugs. I don't know if she's just, I don't know what's going on at this point. That's why I can't even, I'm afraid to make any jokes because I don't know what the hell is happening right now. So anyway, after all that is going on, you went to his house to start this mess, and while you're at his house starting this mess, you call the cops, diamond! This is what they did to my car. I want you guys to see. This is not a game. I have no weapons or nothing. Because look, no weapon form of, of, of should prosper against me. No weapon. The police are coming, they're on my side. The police are on my side. He says, look, I believe in God and Jesus. And you guys think it's a funny? Look at this. Look at this. When, when Megan says she's a savage, she means it. I'm 19 years old, I can afford this. But when I turn 25, I can't. So guess what? I want you guys to see this. Jason Sid and Brianne Luann, whatever her name is, Cheyenne, did this to my car. They did this to my car. You guys want cops so bad? Look, crazy bitch, look, they're, they're happy. But they know that God is within me and they're the devil. They're walking. In, in, in the midst. Um, talking to the people, telling them to go, but she got a cop. Who is Rollo Wave? <laughs> Get it? You guys can go, because the police are coming. All right, see you. Hope you feel better. Thank you. You guys are angels. There's ghetto angels all around. You know the song from um, Rollo Wave? There's ghetto angels all around. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody, daddy. <laughs> Diamond decides to go home. And when 
she goes home, she puts on Instagram story. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here for me. But lives matter. And, and so does mine. No weapon for against me, Michelle. <laughs> her situation to Black Lives Matter. Her life does matter. It, it does. But, sweet, you, you started. Ah! Now, okay, I understand. I, I now, the dick now. Cut the camera. Diamond goes and she goes live, her dad in the background, and chat. Boom, just a lot. Because I have multiple pers multiple personalities. My major at UCF is biomedicine. A few days ago, I had to take abnormal psychology. I did not like that class because the first question says, how do you feel like when your brain has trapped demons? Denzel, can you find my iPad? I need my iPad. I'm gonna show you the class that I'm in in UCF. You wanna know why I'm crazy? It's called the system. Vote me for president. Boy, celibate. Estoy celibate. Awesome. Celibacy is key because guess what? After you get raped and abused, you don't want to have sex. So I don't really, now, now after I'm watching all this, I'm just like, okay, well, was she really sexually assaulted by this guy? Did he really like mess up her mental that now this is why she's acting like this? I'm just so lost because I'm just feeling like if she was really sexually assaulted and her daddy knows this and they got the proof, then why are they not at the police station and the doctor's office and all this other stuff like at this point I really believe that the parents know that their daughter has a mental problem like she might really be bipolar or schizophrenic or whatever because there's no way that they don't see that there is a problem why have y'all not taken this girl's camera her phone and just told her to relax because I think they know that this is just her so when people say I mean, you're crazy. Well, if I'm so crazy, why did I have to go to court by myself and fight Jason alone with no lawyer? But do I have a $100,000 car? But I have no lawyer because my dad's in China and my mom's at work. Yeah. Are you hurting but ain't got no soul? Then I need you to make an um, instrumental. You're stressing me out. You're not making an instrumental. Do a beat. Make a beat. A lot of times I'll choose silence. Yeah. Better come do it to me. Play music. This is silence. Just play music. This is I know Denzel's. Yeah. I'm making a beat. Is there can a problem? You ask him, can you play music? Please? Denzel, can you, you please you... make music? Okay. Please. So it's not like it's not your little dog. You can't just keep talking to him whichever way. And you need to stop treating all men the same because there are there are men and there are whatever you want to call them. Okay. So I was handling business before, right? That fool did what he did to you in this house, okay? I try to do what's right, try to get him help. But now, guess what he's doing? He's got the jail suit, he's got weed, okay? So he's got problems, he's the one with the problems. But I don't need to mention his name. What is his name? I don't need to mention his name, her name, Queen Sid. I think they're getting a thrive off of her making Money being foolish. I don't know. Well, I've never been in prison, but I know what goes on in there. I've been in prison. Thank so, you. you've never been in prison. Mental so hospital is prison. You know, well, you, Same thing. Listen, that's a whole other story. Not so mental. We're in jail now. But, but guess what? Like this. this isn't going to happen yeah, anymore because I'm around. I'm around, clowns. Okay, that's female clowns? I'm around, I'm around clowns. clowns. I'm around. So, she's not alone anymore. Trust me on that. She's not alone anymore. So all you clowns, stay away. Oh, Jesus, my head hurt. So I had to go over there to get her out of that area or whatever. Get a rotten I really, no, well, it doesn't matter because not everybody can, you know, whatever it is, but it doesn't matter. I'm joking, no me importa. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but that area where that queen lives, it's not good. The craziness didn't stop there. She's sitting in the kitchen with her mom and her daddy on live. And I'm just like, parents, what are y'all doing? You understand? You don't have to really stop, Diamond. You're better than that. You come from an amazing family. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Keep going, mom. Keep going. Good. 
What? It's okay. Keep going. Why are you laughing? It's Ma- true. I know, I know. You, you, have, a, you have a ma- Stop bringing that name up. You have an amazing Quince, family. Quincy you got to ma- watch his parents beat each other up. Oh my We God. know his father beats up his mother. Yeah, his that's cousin, right. Cl- his cousin that's, told us. That's right. What cousin? So, Queen cousin. Sid, yeah. Queen Sid, we know that, that your we know that your pops beat your mom because he's just as insecure as you father. are. Queen Sid, you know my hmm? you know my address. I've been to your house. Queen Sid. I don't even know why you went. Come for house. a visit. Because they dared me, I went twice. Why would you go to their because house? Because I went twice. For what? To show them who Toussaint Louverture is. For what? Toussaint Louverture. Look it up. The re- French Revolutionary. No. <laughs> <laughs> the French Revolutionary. Mom, yes, the French the Revolutionary. Kicked, ah, French, he's the one that kicked the French out of Haiti. And Haiti gave the Dominican Republic its independence. Okay, Queen said? Y'all know what? At, at this point... Diamond needs prayer. She needs prayer. We got we gotta pray for Diamond because that home situation is all discombobulated. The brother just tagging along. He don't know what the fuck going on. The daddy is feeding the fire with fuel. The mama's just like, can y'all just stop it? This isn't right. And everybody's just all over the place. Sid feeding off of it, taunting her. His friends over there bullying. Everybody's just everywhere doing everything. And it's just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of if all this is just fake because that girl seemed like she was really cool i think this is just a cahoot i think she's at yeah i don't know now she got me stupid you know what so breathe she got you breathe ah oh, i'm dumb okay oh fuck acting like diamond okay A demon with it. Okay, let me just get off of this subject. At this point, Diamond, we here for you. Reach out, talk to us, because girl, you spiraling down. Okay, well, it ain't about me. Diamond has went crazy. Next case, next look okay? at we have Cowboy versus Amory. Welcome back. Now I told y'all. All we had to do was give them maybe one or two months and they would be back. And look what happened. I said it. Every time I tell y'all something, it happens. I just know they are toxic. They are horrible for each other. But they keep going back because they like that shit. They gonna get that together. I'm telling y'all they are because I know it's not done by the way they talking to each other. Let me tell you what happened. So, allegedly, he cheated again. Jesus Christ. See... He give us this I'm good on the internet look and he makes her seem like she's very toxic. But really, I think what is going on is this. I think she really do like him. Granted, she a little crazy. I believe he cheats every time. And she don't expose it, but this time she said enough is enough. Now, I do believe she might be on the verge of walking out, but all, I think she only got one foot out and one foot in. So that's why I say they're going to get back together. Now, mind you, what happened is she started tweeting all this stuff. Now, I got to read it. It's a whole lot. She said, I literally have no more love in my heart for you. Um, I did ass hate you, bitch. You put your hands on me and pulled a gun out in front of my little sis and nephew, bitch. You, your day is coming. I let you make it like it was me the whole time. I'm not internet, but today is the day. All this internet capping on all, look, all this hood talking. I just can't do it. They just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So then he go up and he put he's single. Tell the sequence of events in order. Fuck all that other shit. Boss up, cow. I'm like, okay, see. This is when a guy trying to make a woman feel like she's overreacting. Because she, she put all that. So, you know, she in her feelings right now. And what guys do is they'll just put a little bit to make it seem like they didn't do nothing. Make it seem like you just really just overreacted for nothing. Child, they really just a mess. Just a mess. So, because, girl, if he cheated the first time and did all this stuff the first time, you should have left. Because, mind you, didn't she stab him? I remember what he bleeding that day because he said she stabbed him and did this. So why did you go back to her? And why did you go back to him if he's cheating like this? Like, I mean, come on. Somebody got to say enough is enough. 
So anyway, she goes and she posts up this talking about how he's a cheater and he's abusive. Just on and on and on and on and on. Well, girl, you're abusive too. Y'all are both in a cheating, abusive relationship with each other. Now, I understand why she's upset because a man should never put his hands on a woman. But girl, if you keep going back, then you can't really call him out as being abusive when you had the right to leave. Now, I know some people saying, well, Zoe, maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe she doesn't know. Maybe he has broken her down and manipulated her. Well, Oh God, that's just so hard. I guess I ain't never been there. Somebody need to be her friend. Where her friend at? Mama, somebody help friend out. Get her up out of this situation because it's too much. So then she goes and she say, don't ever associate me with this bitch nigga. And so I guess he's upset and he decides to go and he posts up what she's done outside to his house. Yeah. She busting the window. She busting the window. window. Oh, bro. Let her do it, bro. Fuck the car. Let her do it, folks. You on camera already. You been on camera for five minutes. On video. She busting the window. She busting the window. Let her do it, bro. Fuck the car. Let her do it, folks. You on camera already. You been on camera for five minutes. Now, mind you, when a woman does that, you've done something that has pissed her all the way off. You've done something. You don't, they don't do that for no reason. A woman that gonna, when they hurt, they gonna hurt something they feel hurts you. So you did something, cow. So then here he go with all this sensitive ass soft bullshit that he always do. Oh my God, I'm gonna just be single forever. I'm not gonna tolerate this. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Be quiet. Because now I see right through what's going on right now. Like, he do this to make her feel like she's just hurting him. Nigga, you was caught. So then what he does is, is he goes and he makes her feel like, I did all this for you, I did this for you. And he goes and he plays with the internet. Like, he's been doing, like, everybody's always, it's like, mind you, I was on his side at first. Like, oh my God, why won't she put him on the internet? Why won't she talk about this man? Because she knew how crazy this man was. That's what it was. Fuck that shit. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my penis. Just say this tomorrow. Right, Suck say it my tomorrow. scrotum. Listen to me. Just say it tomorrow. Suck my left nut. It's been fun, y'all. Didn't do the right nut. It's been fun. We had a little, you know. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all. Everybody that, everybody that jump on my social media, no, my shit real. Your shit fake. We get into a fight, you single. I ain't never did no shit like that. You disrespect me i forgive you you feel me still fuck you good that's why you stay so long stupid right. ass motherfucker come on, man. come on man but now i'm come done on, come on we got album bitch, tomorrow. Uh, all the motherfucking hoop niggas, niggas and all them rap niggas in, in that bitch dm that i be seeing that be talking shit come on brother y'all can have this bitch too right. toxic get your last two sentences out come on man make it work well Tell her yes, we up. You gotta, you gotta fight. Ha! Speak like you've been doing. That lady, though, bro. I never said nothing to that lady. No cap. Never. I don't even say, hey, I ain't going. Going on, bro, but we just fucking this morning. Not bad because she going me. Just sucking my dick. You just fucking me this morning. We just fucked before we came back to my house. What you talking about? Okay, put that on the shirt. <laughs> you get that? Suck my dick like you've been doing. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be a wild boy type. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. He was playing all of us. Make it say he was just this sweet, lovey dovey boy who's just so nice, who's so sweet. He just wants the internet and the world to know that how much he loves his girl, the way he puts her out there, she should put him out there. Nigga, y'all, we was all bamboozled and hoaxed, honey, because at this point, crazy. Okay, he's crazy. Then she goes live and shows like he was begging for her back. I can just focus, do anything I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Do all I think about. Do all I want to think about. Mm. I'm going to lay you to death. Mm. Please, can we talk? Mm. Please, can we work this out? Mm. She won't happen again. Mm. I'm going to... Take my meds, I'm gonna focus. I'm Take your meds. I gotta do. Just please. It's not gonna happen again. I'm begging you. You begging me. Okay, son. Okay. Okay, son. 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 See, I don't even do shit like this. It's just a whole lot. At this point, they just do too much. But I'm telling y'all right now, they gonna get back together. Watch. Because they both crazy. 
two crazies are meant to be together. They're crazy. They gonna get back together. If she would put all that energy into her music, she'd have her good old CD. But girl, she too worried about trying to run behind this man. She liked it. Cause he did it once before you. He did it several times before and you went back. And then y'all doing the same thing. All he gonna do is apologize to you and girl, you gonna give in. You're going to give in and they're gonna get back together. Watch what I tell you. Give out a month, maybe not even that. Give it a minute, just a month. I'm gonna give it a month. Might be just two weeks. They gonna get back together. Watch what I tell you. Watch. They might be back together now. Anyway. Oh, these children. Oh, these young adults. Because I don't think they try to they young adults. Foolish. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, this is Cowboy and Anne Marie Season 8, Episode 13. Next case. Next one, okay? We have Jada versus Audrey Kelsey. All I got to say is, when is it my turn? Okay? Because if that's how y'all rocking, Put me in, coach. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Now, for those who don't know, August Alcina has this documentary that's on his YouTube channel, and he speaks about his life and his music and everything like that. So you should go check it out. So in that documentary, he had came out and said him and Jada allegedly had a certain type of relationship that had been going on for a while. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. Right, you did the right thing. And I really loved a person. I experienced that. I know what that, that feels like. Now when this came out, everybody was like, oh my God, what in the grown man kiss and tell is going on here? Where was the NDA when you needed? Hello, chatty patty. You know, they were just like, what is happening? But if y'all don't remember, Jada and Will have always been very open about their relationship, about how it was an open relationship. If you marry me, know this. We're going to be together. We're going to be under the same roof. You might be on one end of that joker with somebody else. <laughs> and I might always be on one of this joker that. with yep. somebody else. Yeah. And I, I always see, said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but we're going to be yeah. in this joker together. Yep. So Jada, that's what we are going to do. He was like, Will gave him his blessings to mess with Jada. So I was like, okay. So did they give him the blessings to talk about this? Because this is a whole, a whole lot of, because you know, they're very much private when it comes to stuff like that, but they're not private, if you get, if you get what I'm saying. So honey, Jada come out and she say, no ma'am, this did not happen. Then Will come out, he say, no ma'am, this did not happen. So then August I see the come back out and he said, yes ma'am, this happened. So he was just like, very much, I already told all parties what was gonna, I was gonna talk about this and I was coming forward about this situation. And uh, he was just like, you know what? I just had to get this off of me. I saw my sister die and she never, got to live her full life. She was so afraid of everything. Literally everything. I get my sister a car, she's scared to drive. She's never driven a car because she's scared to get on the interstate. After my brother got killed, she was scared of everything. Right. And she never lived her full life. And I just don't want to be that. I don't want to be that person. I want to live my life on full. I want to die empty. Whatever that means, giving myself to my, my three kids now, mm -hmm. giving myself to love or a relationship, giving myself to my career, devoting myself to being a healthy person. I have to give my full self to something because that's what makes me feel alive. So then Jada was just like, there's some healing that needs to happen. I'm gonna bring myself to the to the red table and I'm just like um y'all need to stop people on the internet was just going crazy like I I just in this whole situation I'm just like oh my god because mind you this has been going on for a while so I don't know why anybody is surprised 
about the situation because it's been very open. Only a man knows what a man needs. <laughs> so then Grammy said, you know what? I'm gonna just come out here and say what I gotta say. And this is what she put on her Instagram. She has said, get rid of the pedestal you put people on. Recognize that people are only people with flaws and imperfections, just like you and me. Do that and you will have you will be much happier because guess what? They already are. Sleep well, beloved. Keep it pushing. And I'm just like, so did they fuck or not? <laughs> okay. Is that what you're trying to say? Did you just say like, okay, they did it, it was a relationship, get past it. So honey, I don't know. Maybe we gonna see what they talk about the red table girl to me is what it is. Well, if it ain't about me, August Athena, you can make me wifey. Thanks, Kay! Next up, okay? We have Jay Frost versus Jordan. <laughs> well, as y'all know, five days ago, they had posted up that they had got them a home together and that they were moving in and things were gonna just be great, bubbly and cool. Not even a whole day later, Jordan decides <laughs> Jordan decides to put up very much single, put me back in the game, coach. <laughs> I'm like, damn, didn't they just get the did they just get an apartment? That was fast. So Child. After she put that up, she then puts up a uh, meme of the Grand Reaper and the guy talking about something. You put on your life that you wasn't fucking with other bitches. Let's roll, shot and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he must have cheated. So she didn't stop there. She went to Twitter and she was just like, anybody who told me it was right to trust you, I'm cutting him off. Then woo woo woo. I can do all things except for cheating and I'm out. So I'm like, okay, yeah, he cheated. So then they unfollow each other on Instagram and the shame decides to go to Twitter. And he posts, everything happens for a reason. Bitch, you cheating on me wasn't for a reason. You cheated on me because you wanted to. Or you text whoever you wanted to because you wanted to. That wasn't a reason that I had to be involved in. So don't come with me with that bullshit, everything happened for a reason. Then he didn't stop there and he said, You're the only one that makes me feel like I'm worth something. Jordan, bitch, get your shit. Jordan, get your shit. Run, this nigga's fucking crap. Get your shit. He's crazy. Jordan, it. He's crazy. You're the only one that make me feel like I'm worth something. Well, bitch, if she worth something, why the f did you cheat? Jordan, manipulation, bitch, you're stupid. You go back with him, girl. You are crazy. You said anybody who told you to trust him, you cut them off. Well, bitch, I'm telling you, don't trust them. Cut me on. Hello? <laughs> These niggas will show you who they are plain as day, and y'all will take them back. All they gotta do is, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Will you forgive me? You're the only one that makes me feel whole again. Without you, I feel like I have nothing. Well, bitch, if you felt like that with me, then what the fuck did this bitch make you feel like? Because honestly, she make you feel like you got the universe if you decided to let the world go. Oh, hello? Stupid. So then, shot a great. <laughs> he probably fucked her too. Okay, so shot a great. Ooh, child, slow down, so Ooh, these. People are just all over the place. They do too much. Everybody gonna have STDs. Okay, so then Shada Great, she come out and she had to put her two cents in the whole situation. She was just like, then come back home to her mom. Gotta feel shitty after that. Ladies, invest in yourself like I did. Get your own. Don't trust these niggas. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> because I thought, didn't shout flirt with him or something like that back in the past. When she flirt with him, you know, I don't know, Shy be flirt with everybody. Shy, I love me some Shy, but she be flirt with everybody. She be up in all the niggas' faces, honey. It's like, bitch, <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. It ain't none of my business. Stay on topic. Okay, so then, <laughs> he saw what she said, and he came back, and this is what he had to say. You was trying to spend the night at my crib. Fuck out here with all that. Don't you ever disrespect her like that. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You kind of just told on yourself because why is you and her texting each other anyway? Now, I know it's about YouTube and all this other stuff, but if she was trying to spend it at your house, did you tell Jordan about this? Why was y'all over here mixing and mingling? Why, why was the conversation that deep about spending the night? 
and then I'm be let's move on from that because you know niggas up there talk too much, start telling themselves. So uh Sha came back, she said, Hold on, my mama, let me show you what I really said. So then she proved that it was all for just a YouTube video. She was in LA, she wanted to see him so I could make a YouTube video prank. Cause if y'all people was wondering what was up under that little thing that she tried to cover up, but if you really zoom in, you can see the word P-R-A-N-K prank. And she was telling him how the prank was gonna go. And then he wrote back, I like that idea, whatever because maybe they was setting up a prank. All them YouTube pranks be fake and y'all be falling for it. You know, all of them elementary kids be liking that shit. Grown folks, we know what the fuck going on. Ain't nothing that shit real. Fuck it, I love it, fake. Anyway, just like um, King Sid and G. Oh, hold up. <laughs> All of it's like. But anyway, so she said that, and mind you, guess what? He disappeared, didn't say nothing else. Now, if you was that quick to make up a lie and try to make this woman look bad, Jordan, he lied. <laughs> Jordan, he lied. He lied that fast on Shy, and she came back and fucked him up and shut him up. He lied. Whatever he told you, he lied. So then, guess what? Now him and Jordan are cool. Check this out. We're here addressing a, a good thing, a, a real thing. Honestly, it might not be big to y'all, but you know, Jordan and me, like you know, we're young, and I make mistakes, and I made a mistake that I shouldn't have, and it, it caused a lot of caused a lot of confusion. Nigga, we're young and we make mistakes. That's not a mistake, that was a choice. A mistake is walking into the room oh, and dropping your juice. That's a mistake. A mistake is walking and you're not paying attention and oh, crack my phone. That's a mistake. A mistake is oh, breaking your ankle because you jumped. That's a mistake. What you did was a choice. Y'all gotta stop confusing mistake with choice. You know, mm, and it hurts. caused joy, hurt and it caused joy. Then look at Jordan in the back. She just there. She just like, you know what? Here we go again with this bullshit. This motherfucking nigga just talking. It caused Jordan to, to react off of react off of emotion and, and say stuff that we should have figured out between us. And then, and, and mind you, what pissed me the fuck off is he speaking for her. He said there was some decisions he made that caused Jordan to act out and react and do what she did when she should have spoke to him probably. No, you can't tell her how to act, how the fuck she want to act. When, did she tell you how to act when you was over there texting that bitch? Did she tell you that? Did you communicate with her before you went to go do the fuck you wanted to do? So why the hell she gotta communicate with you when she wanna go tweet that she hurt? Niggas is always trying to control y'all. Jordan, leave. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, First. now can I respond to that? Yeah, yeah. I feel you, but at the same time, I, I wanna put that out there that I am a very private person. So if I do post um, something like that, that's that just goes to show the severity of how I was feeling. Um, it's not that I necessarily regret it because I don't regret anything. I feel like maybe there could have been more communication, but at the same time, it's like Twitter said what's happening, and I told them what was happening. You know? Yeah. It says your it's a story, your story. What happened, honestly, when I got touched too much on it is I had, you know, she she seen that um, situation with a different girl that some texting situation, some entertaining stuff, which I shouldn't even be putting in that situation. And um, What's the situation? Why are you embarrassed to talk about it? You weren't embarrassed to do it. Hello? Um, yeah, and that's just what it was. You know, and honestly, I feel like, you know, I, I've had like dark moments and weak times, and these are not even excuses. D bitch, turn the light on. Turn the light on. Turn up. He said he had some dark moments and some dark times. Jordan, turn the light on. Maybe he can't see. Bitch, Lee. But I shouldn't even be doing that. If I'm not ready for to to handle that and not be childish and and be able to to be grown and be in a. a committed to one person I shouldn't be in a relationship and I really just realized that honestly I really do love this girl and I really do and um you know even if if she it's just miscommunications you know what I'm saying like there's a lot of miscommunications we're 19 years old you know what I'm saying like a lot of people think texting and stuff like and uh, it's cheating and, I, and that's wrong you know what I'm saying I honestly feel like you shouldn't do that you know I was I was in a dark time in a week time where you know the devil the devil <laughs> The devil, 
The devil might be like, look, nigga, don't put, don't put me in your, don't put me in your bullshit. I ain't got shit to do. I was there. I was not there. What the devil? Oh my God, I done heard it out. Jordan, if this, this is what you want to do, bitch, do it, but girl. Oh God, girl, we'll see you again. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you again. <laughs> we'll see you again, fuck. Oh girl, you can tell. You can tell. This ain't gonna work. Well, I'ma just keep on, keep on praying that the devil don't, don't hold his hand again. <laughs> If it ain't about me, Jordan, you better go take that shit and get him baptized next week. <laughs> next day! Excellent, okay? We have King Sid versus Gio. Now, I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I really honestly believe that all this was just fake. Like, it was a prank. I was there, I was there for about 30 minutes, probably an hour. I was there helping Jeff and when I came back home, when I came back home, I don't think Diamond realized this, that I was coming back this early because when I leave and stuff, when I leave my house and stuff, I take a long time. When I came back home, I came back and I seen I seen Jill having sex with Diamond. Now when Sid has said Diamond had allegedly claimed that her and Gio had messed around together, he was like, boom, 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 I can't believe you. She said she fucked Gio, you heard that? She said she fucked Gio. She said she fucked Gio, Gio fucking, hey look, Gio, you fucking her, well, you know that's my ex. Gio decided to come back and say what he said about the situation and then Sid came back and he said what he had to say Um, I think they kind of called each other behind the scenes like hey, let's run with this. Let's make this work We got something here. So then Gio he goes and he puts out his diss track But nigga got an issue. He can say it to my face. Bitch, I'm too raw for this shit He can't keep up the pace. They got me mad up in this bitch. I'm about to turn up the pace You know, they going back and forth with these memes. It just didn't seem like a real beef. It was messy I like the pettiness of it I was like, okay, this is cute. This is real petty. This is real cute. I like it. Whatever the case may be. But when it came down to the fight. I'm not lying to you. I promise to God I'm here. Fuck it. I'm, I swear to God I'm here, whoa. <laughs> Look, whoa. Yo, you said pull up. We pulled up and I FaceTimed you two times. You ain't blocked my number, nigga. You ain't blocked my number. I swear to God you ain't blocked my number. Cause I ain't gonna, I, I didn't, well, come on, well, you had time to make a music video and shit, you better have time to come outside. I was just like, now I know damn well that these two motherfuckers don't fight like this. And if they fight like this, then bitch, <laughs> they might as well be friends because that was a fool. Play the fight! No hands, bro. Put the gloves on. Man. Put the gloves on. He's right here, car. Y'all keep wrapping up. We'll hang. We'll move on, man. You're rocking. You're rocking. You're rocking. No hugging. 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 Like he was ice skating. Uh, Come on, Gio. You could have played it a lot better. I think Gio thought that Sid was gonna throw a punch and it was gonna look like he hit him and he fell, but it didn't work that way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no straight hands. Straight hands. Straight hands. You gotta fight straight hands right now. There it goes. Right now, come on. No, 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 no,
It should have had rehearsal or something. I don't know, but it was a fool. Then you had them wrestling on the ground. I was like, you know what? This just, this right here is worse than WWE. At this point, Bad Girls Club is better. Jerry Springer is better than this. You know what? I don't know what to say about these light-skinned people. They just be doing too much for me. Child, we ain't even gonna really talk about it. Just know that we know what's going on. It ain't no real fight, y'all. They just saw that this is gonna make a money maker. If you look, nobody really gained any followers off the situation. They didn't get no clout off of it. It was just a whole lot of running around, whooping and hollering. But, oh, child, I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I, I don't even know if Diamond telling the truth no more. She might be on this bullshit. They might have told her to act crazy because I just don't understand why her daddy is a psychiatrist, a psychologist, whatever, and you ain't got your daughter in no place. We, I, mean, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And you got me fucked up. If a girl come to my boyfriend house with all that foolishness and you don't think I'm going to whoop her ass, I'm going to fuck what my boyfriend say. I'm going to beat her ass. All this. This seemed like a, a Janae episode that she put with. Y'all watch, I'm telling y'all, something ain't right. How did this girl go crazy all of a sudden? I don't know what, you know what, at this point. I know y'all wanted something real crazy about the situation, but I just knew that it was fake. So I'm not gonna talk about it. Fuck it. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Next case. All right, well. That's all I got for Messy Monday, honey. So, uh, like I always say, uh, send a message to my Twitter and uh, send me all the information, what's going on, what's been happening, and we'll talk about the talk about. So, until then, uh, y'all stay messy, and I will see you next Monday. Next case. Oh, shit. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on.